One good reason why I don't watch the news. Now, I could give you hundreds and thousands and millions of good reasons probably, but I'm gonna give you one good reason. Your mental health. My name is Maximilian and I help contrapreneurs transform and bring success to their inner and their outer life. If you struggle with mental health, if you struggle with negative thoughts, if you struggle with negativity, if you struggle with anything that isn't that of positivity, joy, then the news will never benefit you because the news is literally there to scare you. It puts you in a state of fear. There's never and would never be a, a newspaper story sold or a media story sold about how lovely today was, about how very warm it was. Like, yes, there'll be the, the hottest day ever, ever recorded in history, or the coldest winter ever, or the biggest storm ever, or the, 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 the killings, the, all, all of this stuff, because they want to keep you in a state of fear. Because when you're in a state of fear, you act in a way that they want you to act. If they can put you in this state of fear, they can tell you, okay, you're in this state of fear. So we can cure you with this. This tablet from the pharmaceutical industry, which one I don't agree with, a story for another day. We can cure you with this. So have this tablet and you'll be cured. When if you look at it, and this is logically speaking, don't get me wrong, I'm not a doctor and I haven't studied medicine and I don't ever desire to, but there has been not one person that has been cured from antidepressants, from anxiety tablets, and has come out better from having them. The spontaneous remissions where people go from anxious, and even myself, I was a very anxious person. I, I never took any tablets because I refused to. I always refused to. But I, I went from very, very anxious to a place of, of confidence because I, I did the process, I did it naturally, I did it holistically, and I changed everything in here. When you can change the wires in your mind, you can start to change your outer experiences. So, really look at, and I really do invite you to dig deeper into these articles about how is there any, has there ever been anyone that has been cured from antidepressants, with antidepressants? And I don't think there has. Don't get me wrong, I may be wrong, but logically speaking, it's there to cover the pain. It won't get rid of it, and you, you and they usually come out worse after it. So that's why I would highly recommend not to watch the news, not to not to listen to everything that they say, and especially in this time of fear that we're living in right now, in COVID nineteen, coronavirus, everything is going on, everything's going crazy. I only ever watch the news to get the important information, but realistically, the important information is going to be online. It's going to be on social media because everyone that needs to see it is going to see it. If you've been told lockdown is over, I'm sure you'd notice that by people going out. So really understand that watching the news will never put you in a positive frame of mind because it's not there to do that. It's there to inform you about things that are going on. They will never inform you about the kid that got something in his in his math kit in his maths quiz because they don't care about that. They want to inform you. They want to catch your attention. So I highly recommend to stop watching the news. Only watch the news for important things. If you're in the financial world then obviously you have to watch the news. That side of it. But don't watch the news that is Talking about celebrities, about the fact that they've done this, they do, who cares? It's about they literally just just hate on celebrities for doing stuff. Why should why is that why is that something that should be done? And I posted a video the other day of one of the things that annoys me the most and really pisses me off is the fact that people hate for no reason. Why hate on other people? Why take a picture of someone and say, oh they've lost their summer body? Who cares? <laughs> it really doesn't matter. So get yourself to a point where you refuse to watch the news and I guarantee you, your positivity, your gratitude, your optimism will just start shooting through the roof because you're not listening to the negativity. And it literally goes, you become the five people you hang around. But that, it also includes the five people, the, the, the information you listen to. If you always listen to sad songs for the whole of your life, you will most likely have a demeanor of sadness around you because that is your, your, your vibe and that's the vibe that you give off. If you listen to the news all the time and that's all you listen to, you will just become a more negative person. Now, do your homework with it. Watch the, watch the things that you need to watch but don't over consume things that aren't actually there to teach you anything. If you wanna learn more, go to someone who's an expert in the field 
not a journalist because they're all they're doing is getting stories out there so this this ended up being a bit of a rant I think but yeah don't watch the news stop watching the news refuse the news but have an amazing day keep smiling spreading love kindness and positivity